All right, people, Catfish Dave here. Uh, don't have long this evening. This was supposed to be a catch a catfish during the eclipse video. The peak of our eclipse was supposed to be around 3 p.m. this afternoon. It poured the rain the whole entire time. Uh, I said, well, so much for the eclipse video. I have waited on it to stop raining. I've already drove down here. And uh, while I'm here, I'm gonna try to make a video in the last part of the day. We have very bad conditions. No flow in the river. Zero. Fort Loudon is at rock bottom early April. Uh, it's not been a good time. My last three videos, two were on Chickamauga, one was on Cherokee, just because I didn't want to fish this part of the river, but the rain blew my eclipse video plans. So I'm here, I've got a couple skipjack and a white bass in the cooler. And we're gonna drag this uh, little river section here. See what the water temps are reading. The water temps are actually colder than last week. Last week, this thing was close to 60 degrees. It's all the way back down to 56 degrees. We had a cold front, we had some freezing weather. I've actually got a lot of trash in the river here. I can see debris and wood everywhere. And uh, that's not gonna be good when I'm trying to drag these baits, but we're just gonna have to drag through it. I have the old Garmin Kraken going wide open on a preset course that I set last time I was here. And uh, we're gonna get down to the end of this thing. I'm gonna use this time that the trolling motor has taken me to my beginning point to bait up my hooks and get ready to fish. Yeah, there is stuff floating everywhere out here. I'm gonna put a skipjack head on. I just hit a log with my trolling motor. Hit another one. Isn't that nice? And like I say, I am going to put on one piece of white bass. They wouldn't eat this stuff on Chickamauga or in Cherokee. They may eat it here. Man, there is debris all in the water. If I stand on the front of the boat, this thing actually goes faster. It goes about four and a half mile an hour. Okay, y'all. The time is a quarter after five in the afternoon. It's dark about eight, eight thirty. So, a couple hours here we're gonna have. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this boat around about here and start fishing. Get turned around here. I'm gonna set my speed. We're going 1.9. That's not what we want. We're gonna set the speed to about 0.7. We'll cover this thing quickly. This thing is fairly shallow. The deepest water I will get into will be about 20 something foot. We'll have this head out on the left. I might not even run this uh, back rod on a planer board. I might just run it straight behind the boat because this is not very wide here oh don't tell me i'm hung up already i don't want to be hung up already i am hung up already there we go it came loose thank you hope my bait's still on it probably is Look at that about here. I can't go real far to the left or we're gonna be in hang up city on that left board. This piece of white bass, I'm gonna run right behind the boat. I may not let a lot of line out on this white bass. I'll tell you what, I used to uh, talk about how 
these planer boards help you a great deal and sometimes you only get hit on the planer boards in shallow water because the boat spooks the fish. Well, is it the boat spooking the fish or is it a noisy trolling motor? Because that Minn Kota power drive was way noisier than this Garmin brushless motor. This thing here, you can't even hear it. So maybe we won't spook fish. Maybe they'll think we're just a big log passing over. We're fixing to go through a little hole coming up here. And this is where the action should start coming through this hole. Well, y'all, we're about 40 minutes in and not a single bite. I knew the bite was not good. I knew that. Four degree water temperature dropped since last week. No flow in the river. I'm gonna slow my speed down here to about 0.5. Got a lot of trash coming through the river here, I mean a bunch of it. We're just now entering into the deeper section of this thing. Maybe that's where all the fish are since it's gotten colder. Seeing a fish right there, right behind a hump there. So there's one out here. That piece of white bass should be going by him. All right, y'all, we ain't had a single nibble. And we're coming into the deepest end of this thing, right at the end of the course here. If we don't get bit here, it ain't gonna happen. I mean, we ain't had a channel cap bite. I can see where the water has actually dropped about a foot recently here, so. Yeah, this no flow is not good. Hopefully there'll be something stacked up in the steeper end of it. There's the first bite. We just had a bite on that right board, I'll be danged. Looked like a channel kept bite, but it was a bite. Oh yeah, we just hooked up. We just hooked up. We just hooked up right there in the deepest part of this thing. We just hooked up on the skipjack head. On the skipjack head. Yep. On the skipjack head. Ah. See what we got here. We got one. Yeah, old beat up looking male fish there. Yeah. Oh shoot. Got another one, y'all. I spot locked right here. Tighten these lines up. 
sun is right in the camera. This is on the white bass, actually. On the white bass. Yeah. He done spun my line up. <coughs> yeah, we caught this on the white bass, I'll be dang. Come on. I done got my neck caught up in my dang uh, tie thing here. You gotta be kidding me. Let me put this fish up, try to get this net loose. All right, y'all. We'll get this fish in here. Come on, buddy. Uh, try to get him in the boat. Get him in the camera before the sun comes back out and ruins our picture. It's trying to. All right, y'all, I know the uh, sun's right in the gosh dang camera. There's another old male. Right here in the very end of our course, this is actually the deepest end of the thing here. We just got hit on that board right there. My net holder has been broke off the side of the boat. Obviously I hit a pothole and it come flying off there. I noticed that when I got down here. I'm gonna sit here just for a minute and still fish right where we're at. Hopefully that sun stays behind the cloud. We'll sit here for a little bit. See if anything happens sitting still. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. Looking at my phone, we got something big on here. And he's pulling drag. He is pulling drag. He is pulling drag. I wonder how long that rod's been down. This is a good one here, y'all. This is a big fish. I got a good mind to pull some of these other ones in. Feels like a good fish right here. Get that white bass out of the way. He pulled a bunch of drag. There goes more drag. What have I got here? He's, he's all spun around. Okay, that's a flathead. 
That's a flathead. Very good. Good one. It's a good one. We got him. <laughs> oh. That's a big one, y'all. Yeah, I don't know how well y'all can see this with that sun in the camera, but that's a nice flathead, man. That thing's got a tail on it. <laughs> Head on it, got everything on it. Oh. Well, all right, y'all. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.